Hi, this is Dr. Nicole Duran, and I'm going to update you on some music theory ideas. And you did very well with rhythm last time. We found some quarter notes, some rests, half notes, things like that. And now we're going to talk about the idea of harmony. So harmony is created when two different notes sound at the very same time. In the scale, notes that blend together particularly well form chords, and they're usually three notes. Now the scale is that group of notes that goes all the way up and down, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. All those notes going from do to do is the scale. And the most common chord you hear within the key of those scales is called the tonic chord, that's spelled T-O-N-I-C. That's going to have your home note, your do, the third scale degree, mi, and the fifth scale degree, so. Now, if you look at Jesus, Strong and Kind, which is still up on the website, you're going to see symbols on top of the melody, and these are chord symbols. 20 of those chord symbols are for the tonic chord. Go ahead and count them up and it's just gonna have the letter C written there, but you don't just play a C, you play a C, an E, and a G on the piano. And if you wanted to harmonize with your voice, you could choose between a C, an E, or G. When you have a, a chord built around the fifth scale degree, which is G, it's very exciting. It's a dramatic high point, like a lightning bolt in a little rainstorm. And I'm going to do a couple musical examples of harmony next. One is going to be a round. You probably have sung rounds in school or with your family. And that doesn't have a real dominant chord in it. And it sounds kind of mellow. When you have the dominant chord going to the tonic, then you have a real ending of a phrase, an exciting point, and then kind of a resting point at the end. And then you go on and sing a new phrase in harmony. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's the music examples now. The other one that I have made out of um, Jesus Strong and Kind, and Marianne will sing it with me. So it's right there in verse one and two. Okay, it's starting on the dominant. settles down okay and that had the dominant chord a very important harmony chord and then the last thing we're gonna do is one more round and then I'm gonna have an activity for you guys okay did you want to start this one Danielle twinkle 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 